Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Haley. Today I wanted to show you how I got my complexion routine today. I wanted to keep everything else a little bit minimal and focused, minimal, minimal, and focus it on skin. So I'm wearing a full coverage foundation, lots of bronzer, some highlight, blush. I just wanted to kind of make everything look really clean and crisp. So stay tuned if you guys want to see how I got this look and thank you so much for watching. So today I'm starting with a Dr. Dennis Gross peel pad to get a really smooth complexion. Now going in with my REN Vita Minerals Omega 3 Oil, and this just gives my skin lots of vitamins and omegas. I'm just going to press this into the skin and not drag it around at all. And this will just make it really plump and healthy. It's been part of my routine for about a year now, so I always have to do it. I'm going to be moisturizing with the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm and warm that up in my fingers and smooth it out on my skin. Moisturizing is such an important part of your routine because if you don't and you have dry patches, everything's just going to look flaky or texturized and so moisturizing is so, so important. Almost as important as wearing sunscreen, I'm using the Tarte Guard 30 today. The sun is so damaging for our skin, so you might as well just protect it by using sunscreen every day and that'll help you so much in the long run. I'm priming my skin with the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer and going straight over with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. It creates the prettiest healthy glow. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Foundation from Tarte. And I'm applying with this with the Becca, I think it's called like the 10 in 1 Perfecting Brush. This is the Copper Edition. I really only use this brush for full coverage foundation. I just love the way that it goes on super easy because it's goat hair, I think. So it puts it on really nice. Things are getting a little intense, so I need to put my hair up so it wouldn't get too messy. I am going to shear it out with my beauty blender, though, just a little bit so it's really nice and blended because I always trust the beauty blender. Then I'll be concealing my under eyes with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer. It's a really nice thin texture. It just came out and I'm using the color Fair. It is a little bit too dark I would say for me, but it really hides very nicely. And I'll be setting that with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder underneath the eyes so it makes it nice and bright and doesn't crease at all throughout the day. I'm going to highlight just a little with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Chantilly because it is a little bit lighter than my skin, so on the chin, on the nose, on the forehead, and blend that in using my Beauty Blender. This will just bring extra light to the highest points where I want it to be nice and highlighted. And I'm going to contour a little with the Lancome Duo, I think it's called the Le Duo, and the color is Ivory, starting under the cheekbone and just going in towards the center of the face. This is going to create that shadow and I'm blending up with a Sephora brush, a tapered one, and using a beauty blender to blend that up as well where I would like it to go. Then I'm going to put some on the forehead as well and blend that up towards the hairline. I really like this color because it has more of a gray undertone versus too warm and bronzy. I felt like adding a little bit more structure so this time I took it down the side of my face and brought it a little bit under the chin and wrapped it there. That kind of creates more of a defined cheekbone even more. It makes it a little bit more intense. And then I'll be using the NARS Chantilly again to sharpen that underneath the line. I'm setting this all with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light, which I'm almost out of. I use this every single day, and I'm putting this all over. It is, it's like a really good setting powder, but also has the benefit of having light reflecting pigments in there. So it's going to make a light bounce off your face and make you look really nice and soft. Now I'm going to add some bronzer using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion, and this is the color 15i. And I'm going in with a brush that they recommend to go with it, which is kind of like a nice kabuki buffing brush. And I'm going to start buffing this into my forehead and underneath the cheekbone. I sometimes feel really washed out once I put a full coverage on and cover up all my freckles. So this adds a lot of dimension and color to my face so I don't look so pale or like I'm sick. <laughs> and you just want to kind of focus this on the outer areas of your face. Just a little on the touch of the nose, and then I like to go in with the MAC Blotting Powder in the color Dark. This is just going to add a little bit more dimension and shadow right under my cheekbone, so that's mainly where I put it. It's got a nice cool undertone though. And then I'm going to pop on a little blush, and this is the NARS Christopher and Kane Silent Nude. It was limited edition, but I love it so much. I love a nude blush on fair skin tones. It just kind of livens you up. 
Then I just took a little bit more bronzer and kind of blended that in with a big fan brush so it's nice and blended all over. And then I'm using Champagne Pop as my highlight, I'm going in with a smaller fan brush on just the top of the cheekbones there. And I'm taking just a tiny bit and putting that on my nose and blending that out. And then I'm going to put a little in the corner of my eyes on the inside there to highlight and brighten my eyes up and under and above my arch of the eyebrows so it's just nice and lifted there. I'm ending my makeup with the Urban Decay Cooling and Hydrating Makeup Setting Spray. This is going to make everything look really dewy once again and get rid of any powder on the skin and that is the final look you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you in my next video.